Good morning, Parkside. Welcome to this week's encouragement video. Thanks for tuning in. I want to share with you two things uh, from the life of our church that have encouraged my spirit this week that I'm finding strength from, and I hope that you will as well. You know, it's, it's the middle of Holy Week. Uh, there's a message of hope and restoration and life uh, that comes through this week, through Good Friday and Easter Sunday. And we want that message to be known by the world, but we want that message to live deeply in our hearts. And uh, we want to find resurrection hope there as well. And that's where I'm finding encouragement that this past weekend, we had a big outreach weekend uh, between the, the youth group having some activities, the children's ministry having activities, uh, both were extremely well attended. Uh, there's over 30 volunteers investing to make these things go. At the at the family Easter party alone, uh, there's about 130 people who attended, uh, which is great. But here's what's better. 40% of those were not from Parkside. I love that uh, we are seeing ourselves as a sent people. We're going to reach those that are in our neighborhoods, in our schools, in our places of employment, uh, Parks that we talk about a core value being sending into the world. Uh, and we want to live out that identity that Jesus said, as the Father has sent me, even so I'm sending you. We are already sent. The question is whether we will live out that sent identity. Uh, and to see our church living out that identity this weekend, inviting people, uh, was really, really encouraging. I drew a lot of strength from that. And we're praying that those folks will be back this Sunday to hear the message of Easter, the resurrection hope. Uh, I hope you'll plan to be there. And if you haven't invited somebody yet, I hope you will. Here's the second thing that encouraged me uh, and I'm kind of drawing strength from. And this is not so much an outward focus and others hearing the message of Easter, but internally me being renewed by the message of the gospel. Uh, this past Sunday night, we had a prayer meeting and it was a wonderful time to sit with God's people and pray and seek the Lord's face and his hand. Uh, and I just have come to absolutely treasure those times on Sunday night when we gather to pray for an hour or an hour and a half. And uh, I know that doesn't sound like flashy. And the reason it doesn't sound flashy <laughs> is because it's not. <laughs> oh, man, but I love those times. Uh, and it is just so good for my soul to just commune with the Lord, with the people of God. I had somebody tell me afterwards, it's a bit like exercise. You never really want to do it at first, but afterwards you're so glad you did. Uh, and I hope the next time we have a prayer meeting, you will plan to be there because I promise you, you won't regret coming. Uh, so that's coming up in maybe a month or so. We'll have more information when that comes, but I would just encourage you, man, it will be good for your soul. It's been good for mine. And I'm uh, very encouraged by those times with God's people. Uh, upcoming events, things you ought to know about. Uh, Friday night, Good Friday service, 7 p.m. There will not be children's ministry for that. The service will be less than an hour, though. Uh, so I would invite you to bring your kids. Let them hear uh, the message of the cross. We're proclaiming the cross, Jesus uh, and him crucified. Paul said he resolved to know nothing among you except Christ and him crucified. Uh, and that's what we're going to preach on Friday. Uh, I hope that you'll plan to be here and bring your kids and invite somebody. And then Sunday morning uh, is 10.30. Easter Sunday, Resurrection Hope is the title of the sermon uh, from Luke 24, verses 1 through 12. Uh, I hope that you'll plan to be there, and I hope you'll plan to invite someone. Uh, depending on where you live, you may have gotten an invite card in the mail. Feel free to give that to somebody uh, that you think might like to come, uh, or maybe they might not like to come, but you'd like for them to come. Uh, if you need more of those, um, I don't know if we have more around the church or not. You don't need the card. You can invite somebody and uh, that'll be good. Hey, Park said, I love you. I look forward to seeing you Friday night. I look forward to seeing you Sunday morning. And I look forward to glorying with you in the resurrection hope that Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone provides. Have a great day.